Well, of course, it won't be easy to move this giant rock out of our way unless we build a simple machine. What's that? Well, by the time we build it, let me explain to you and our lovely friends about this early form of invention we call simple machines. Zoom in! You see, we need a certain amount of energy to do work. But there is also a limit to how much force our body can apply to a particular task, especially while moving a heavy object. So to make these tasks easier and more efficient, humans started building various basic tools called simple machines. These machines helped reduce the amount of energy needed for a task and multiply the force by cleverly applying the laws of physics. How? Let me explain them starting with the lever. I'm sure you must have seen people using a crowbar to move a heavy object like a rock or a log. The end of the crowbar is placed underneath the object called the load. Whereas some part of it is made to rest on another piece of stone or wood around which it moves, which acts as a fulcrum. Then the free end, also known as the effort arm, is pressed to lift the heavy object. Such levers are called first-class levers, where the fulcrum is kept between the heavy object and the effort. Pliers and scissors are also good examples of first-class levers. Now, let's look at the next simple but important machine called the pulley. A good place to see this mechanism working is in places where people draw water from a well with the help of a circular grooved wheel over which a rope runs. Similar techniques are used in cranes to lift heavy loads. Have you ever seen a screw that helps to join things? Let me show you. It has spiral grooves cut into it that helps the screw easily go inside any surface and stay intact. The same mechanism is molded on bottle caps and tops of bottles, which helps them close tightly. The next simple machine looks familiar, but the use is different. Can you guess? Okay, got you covered, my friends. Inclined planes, that consists of sloping surfaces, usually a ramp set at an angle against a horizontal surface for raising heavy objects. You must have seen cars being loaded onto trucks using this method. Next, let's look at the wedges, which are objects consisting of two inclined planes made of metal or wood arranged back to back to be used for cutting, lifting, or tightening. Knife, axe, chisels, and hammers are good examples of wedges or simple machines that have existed since prehistoric times. And lastly, let's look at one of the most important simple machines, and that is the wheel and axle. They are made up of a circular frame, which is the wheel that revolves on a shaft or rod, also called the axle. In its earliest form, it was probably used for raising weights or water buckets from wells. But as time progressed, this invention revolutionized the world. And today, we see them used right from the sewing machine to cars and even airplanes. Trivia time! Did you know that the first time the idea of simple machines was recognized around the 3rd century BC by Archimedes, the Greek philosopher? 
Also, Egyptians used rams to drag huge stones that were used to build the pyramids thousands of years ago. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Push, kitty. Push. Oh, never mind. <laughs>